You think fat loss might be inversely correlated with success on YouTube? As I shrank in size, so did the number of my views. Conspiracy, I tell you. Yeah, skinny shaming. This is clearly what it is. I'm going to blame everything on that now. Yeah, seriously though, I'm pretty sure most of you have heard about the YouTube apocalypse and all of that. It has affected my channel as well. Now, I'm trying to figure out exactly what and why and how, etc. I've been talking to a YouTube manager, to a, a network manager, and I've been looking up information, looking at statistics, analytics, analytics more like at this point. And uh, it's, well, I'm still at a pretty solid, I don't have any freaking clue what's going on. I mean, I have some clue. Obviously, there's been the whole demonetization issue, which has hit some channels harder than others, but the views have also dropped off. It's not just that the my income has been cut literally in half, it's also that lately videos haven't been doing very well. And I'd like to figure out why. And if it is on my part, I'm more than willing to you know, see what's going on and try to fix it and improve. I mean, I, I will definitely consider, despite the very conspicuous coincidence that this happened at the very same time as the whole you know, YouTube apocalypse drama, I'm still very much willing to consider the possibility that I might be doing something wrong. And if so, then please let me know. So if you've grown tired of my content, and you're probably not even watching this, but if stuff has gotten boring or if, if things, if, if the things that you've been looking for haven't shown up on the channel, then please let me know. I'm very much open for constructive criticism. It is a little suspicious that even the types of videos that I know from experience generally do well lately have suffered. For example, the video uploaded with the bow and crossbow tests, where I measured the velocity and calculated the energy of all of them for comparison, that got maybe a quarter of the views that I would have expected, even on the lower end. So something is clearly going wrong. You know, drop in income is one thing. I can try to compensate by getting income from other sources. And of course, Patreon is helping out. It hasn't been able to balance out the, the drop lately, but you know, it's there. And I appreciate very much that people are pledging on there. But dropping views is a different story. That's more of a serious problem with the channel. So now I've been looking as that at the analytics and there, what's very noticeable is that the traffic from subscriptions is really remarkably low. If you look at that percentage wise out of all the views that come in, it's not all that much. And that also plays in with the fact that people are not getting the, the videos in their subscriptions. So it seems at this point the whole subscription system is broken because apparently it's, it's in fact listed on the known issues um, on YouTube. One of the things is that apparently sometimes there is a glitch in how it's displayed. So you're being shown at unsubscribed even though you are still subscribed. And if you then click on subscribe again, it doesn't actually change that. Very weird glitch. But either way, the real problem here is that YouTube apparently now requires people to, after they've subscribed, to click on that bell that is next to the subscribe and then click on show all notifications for the channel because otherwise you don't get any notifications, which is dumb. <sighs> to be fair, I know what I could do to increase the views and performance and all that. I I very much know that there's some things like, for example, spamming everything everywhere. Some people are really good at using social media and they will post the links to their videos all across, all over the place. And they would be really good at promoting stuff. And here people look at my stuff. I've never been comfortable with that. I'm, I'm just, I don't like to just cram it in people's faces. Here, here's my shit, watch me. I've never liked that. I've always preferred to just, you know, put it out there and let people find it on their own. And the other thing, of course, is what almost everybody does, especially now, is constantly remind people to, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that, which I never do. I should, because even though some of you say that hearing people say that makes you less likely to do these things, which I understand because it's annoying, but statistically, it's shown that it helps. 
It really helps to remind people to like and, and to share and all that, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. So I guess the downfall at this point is that I do not enjoy doing the things that usually are required to make sure that you really go viral and all that because it's all this bullshit marketing that I want to stay away from because I like to keep it more raw and real, so to speak. But this doesn't seem to fly as well anymore. The other thing is uh, something that one of the managers have brought up is that apparently YouTube has a hard time figuring out what I am because I've got all kinds of things on my channel. And with other channels, if, if, if this was the sword channel and the only thing I made videos about was swords, it would be easy for YouTube. Then it would recognize, oh yeah, swords. Now the downside is that might lead to demonetization because, oh no, weapons channel, not family friendly, not advertiser friendly, blah, blah, blah. However, it seems to be a bit of an issue that I do all kinds of different things, and different videos, and uh, the algorithms can't really handle that. Apparently they can't handle me. I'm just too... I don't even know what I am. I'm too diverse or whatever. I'm, 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 too, I'm too complex. I'm not enough of a superficial, you know, stereotypical sticker that, you know, it's just one dimensional and, and you know everything about it if, if you just take one look. Anyway, before I get into too much, into too much of a rant here. So there, I might try to put some of the, the more random stuff elsewhere, perhaps. Now we've been through this. I actually have a gaming channel uh, put gaming videos on there for a while didn't work too well and I've had a poll where people could vote on whether they preferred gaming videos to be there or on this channel and most people said they prefer it here however since it does mess with YouTube and YouTube doesn't work the way it used to anymore I may have to consider putting that elsewhere now possibly not on YouTube in fact today I signed up for an account on both Vimeo and Vidme I'm just going to link them down below in the video description. So if you see my videos, like some of my older videos popping up there, rest assured it's not somebody stealing my content, that's me. So I may just put, put up stuff there, see how it goes. It's probably not going to get a lot of views, but I'll just try. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of my... Like, what I personally think is my better stuff. I can't port all the videos over, that would take forever. But, um, you know, just put some of the stuff there and then I'll, I might upload new things that are like kind of like more vlog things and random stuff and gaming and all that. And I might try to like, keep more of the quote unquote professional and more themed stuff here. I really don't like it because this was never intended to be the case for this channel. I always wanted it to be the whatever channel, so to speak, where there's a wide variety of topics covered, even though the main focus is on historical arms and armor. Uh, but I may have to do that. I don't know. Otherwise, let me know if you even find this in the first place, which you may or may not. But if you do and you haven't seen any of my videos lately, why is that? Have you not seen them? Have you not been interested? Have you been waiting for particular things that didn't show up? Is there anything else you want to let me know? Um, anything more specific than, dude, you suck, your fucking channel is garbage. Because that doesn't help a whole lot. If you say your channel is garbage because A, B and C, that is helpful. Anyway, despite all the doom and gloom, I'm not going to abandon this. I mean, I've had this channel for 10 years. I'm not just going to throw that away. Uh, so I'll keep working on solutions and uh, I've been putting a lot more time into this recently, even though it was already at full time level, but I'm just doing even more now just to try to compensate for these issues. Either way, I appreciate those of you who are still around and um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.